I have bought every Shocks headphone and earbud. And this is going to be the ultimate guide to help you pick the best one. I am sharing this as your everyday dude that works from home, but also someone who runs, but painfully average, maybe like one marathon a year. Also though, as someone who has worked at Best Buy, and I've seen a bunch of these get returned because people are buying the wrong ones. That being said though, I'm going to compare these in six different categories. Well, let's take all these Shox headphones and earbuds because you guys are going to be coming along with me. Okay, first thing we're going to need to do is find out which design is going to be right for you. You guys know we're going to cover the pros and the cons, but you also have to remember that everything designed from Shox is made for an open ear experience. Shox essentially has two designs, which is going to be your open fit and open fit air. And they also have these, what they call sport headphones. Okay, now the true wireless, they're going to come with this case. You have two earbuds, one for each ear, and it loops right around your ear like this. Now the headphones are also going to have a case, but it's mainly going to be for convenience and I guess protection. Now these headphones are designed to go around your ear, but they do wrap around your head like this. So now let's dive into the pros and the cons of these two very different designs, starting with the headphones. Definitely the most secure headphones. My glasses would probably fall off before these headphones do. Second, the physical buttons are gonna make a huge difference, especially if you're gonna be wearing gloves or using them in the rain. And third, the simple ability to turn them on and off directly from the headphones, something you can't do with the earbuds. But now the cons. The loop that's behind your head, it does kind of get in the way. Kind of a given, but there is no single ear use, and you'll quickly notice how less compact these are compared to the earbuds, especially when you're using the case. But now, let's see how these compare to the earbuds. They're still pretty secure, they're just not as secure. Like, I can feel them move when I'm doing the shake test. You can also use them a single ear at a time. They are also way more compact, and you might appreciate that they don't have a head loop. But now the cons. There is no bone conduction option on these. Also, there's only touch controls, no physical buttons, and there's no ability to power these off unless you put them back in the case. By now, you actually might already know which one you want, but don't go anywhere, hold on. We're actually gonna jump into other categories. That way you don't get something that's not for you. When it comes to the sound quality on these though, you really have to have the right expectations. Now these aren't over the ear headphones. They're not inside the ear earbuds. Keep in mind, there is no noise cancellation. That's why I personally don't use them on an airplane. I don't use them in a loud commercial gym. Now sure, you definitely could use these here, but if you're using anything that's an open ear design in a loud environment, it's just not gonna be an enjoyable experience. What you do have to know is that Shox gives you two different options, bone conduction or air conduction. Now earlier this year, I made a video where I showed how bone conduction can enhance your audio by pressing against this water bottle to boost the sound. that's bone conduction for you versus if you compare that to air conduction like AirPods or Beat headphones, you hear nothing happens. Now I have to share the pros and cons starting with bone conduction. These are great for anyone with hearing impairments and it also helps minimize ear damage. But there is a downside. Some people are not gonna like the vibration that comes with bone conduction. And here's an example in comparison for you. Now from using both headphones and earbuds, I found that on the earbuds, I have the volume on average of like 80%. And on the headphones, I'm actually always using these around 50 to 
What I'm saying is that the bone conduction headphones pretty much give you a boosted sense of volume. That's why right now, at this moment, the Open Run Pro 2 is my favorite. But now you guys have to listen to the microphone difference because it's wild what an $80 product sounds like versus a $180 one. I thought it would be pretty neat to do a microphone comparison while bringing you guys along with me. We're first going to do a microphone comparison using the Open Fit. These are the most expensive of Shop's entire lineup. No, they're the same price as the Open Run Pro and the Open Swim Pro. If you're thinking about getting these, I usually suggest look at the Open Fit Air because they're significantly cheaper. And we'll, do, we'll use those next. These are going to be the Open Fit Air. They are significantly less. The microphone, you decide, sounds pretty similar. On top of that, I really like that they have a true white color and they also have a pink for anyone out there. But if you're looking for something even more affordable, the next one's going to be the Open Move. And these are the Open Move. Yes, they are the most affordable. How does the microphone compare to all the other ones? One thing about these, though, I would say that the design's a lot more basic, more simpler. It's tighter here in the air area, so if you wear glasses, maybe not a good thing. But if you could, I think the sweet spot, I would recommend if you're getting these, maybe look at bumping it up to the open run. Not the pro, just the open run. These are going to have a more comfortable design than the open move. Just look at these side by side. The only thing that makes them inconvenient, at least for me, is that it uses a native charger. So you literally have to do a good job of not losing this charger. They do not have them in retail stores in the situation that you do lose it. You're pretty much stuck having to order it online through Amazon or the Shox website. Whereas the Open Run Pro 2, the Open Move, the earbuds, all of these are going to be using USB-C. Just wait though, here's the thing. I know right now the earbuds are looking really tempting, really promising because, I mean, they're compact. They have USB-C, there's no like back of the head loop, so that makes them look really appealing. And for the most part, it is, but just be very cautious if you're going to use these for running or for working out. Because most of the time when I show them to, you know, my friends or people from a run club. Around. I like these. Everybody at first glance prefers the earbuds. You prefer the earbuds or the headphones? I like these, especially for women. I prefer this one. It feels easier to run with them, so they're not moving, or like you don't have to like go and make the effort of like adjusting your hair. I don't know, I prefer this, this design more. As a former Best Buy employee, I saw way too many exchanges from the earbuds to the headphones, mainly because of touch controls. So here's the rundown of what I would actually recommend to you. First off, you grab the earbuds if you're going more for a casual everyday use with of course a sprinkle of workouts. You can go to the open move if you're really just wanting to dip your toes into bone conduction as they are the most affordable ones. You can step up to the open run that's for better audio, a more practical fit especially for everyone out there wearing glasses. Just note about the native charger. And then the open run pro 2 is for those wanting the most dynamic sound. Of course, you got your USB-C. And lastly, if you ever plan to swim, you grab the Open Swim Pro because they work in water and in land too. And there you go, guys. That's the entire Shocks buying guide for you. My brain is officially fried after all that. And I know what you guys are thinking. No, this video is not sponsored by Shocks. No, I am not returning any of these. Most of these I've had since launch, so they are way past any return window but if you guys did like the video give me one of these share it with someone there's going to be links in the description it helps the channel but at the same time it should give you the lowest prices all right guys i'm out i'm done